Right, today we have not one, but two smart things, multi sensors, um, more what I would class as a window or door sensor, but got two of them for two doors. Um, I would only uh, normally do one at a time just do one video but as these both arrived at the same time I may as well just open them both at the same time excuse the birds as usual uh, same as with everything else you get your little quick start guides on the top which are pretty straightforward instructions if you've got the uh, starter kit um, pretty much you push and hold that button until the LED flashes and then you search for a new thing in the app um, but the best thing about these is they're so small compared to a lot of other window and door sensors they are so small that is it, it's nice and tiny um, I'm not sure how long the batteries are supposed to last but the one that I've got already seems to have not reduced at all um, so hopefully they at least last a year um, but you do get your wall fixings uh, or your fixings should I say you get one long piece of 3M tape which will be for that and then two smaller pads for the bracket on the back of here which I personally I um, connected mine by screws on the other one got two screw holes there but you can stick 3M tape on either of those and then hold it on with that ah here we go again it's a unusual Chinese battery Chinese brand name battery. Never heard of it. Lixing. <laughs> um, but the strange thing is with the other stuff, they all seem to use Panasonic batteries. Yeah, that one's the same. Lixing. Oh, you might be able to hear my neighbour's dog. A little ankle snapper. Um, Barks and barks and barks, and yet I'm sure if you looked at it, it'd run away. But never mind. But these are the main thing. Great little things. I'm very impressed with them. Very impressed with smart things in general. Um, certainly something I do recommend to people because uh, it's just so good it's a shame there's not a lot more stuff out there that's on the accepted list or works with the list that Samsung actually has um, they should really expand that for inclusion of other stuff because there is so many Z-Wave things out there that would be great to connect but it from what I can gather, although I've not even looked into it properly, um, you can do coding or something to make it work properly. Um, I haven't even a clue how to start that. Um, I've got D-Link uh, Z-Wave stuff, as you'll see from previous videos, um, which it would be great if I could tie those bits into this smart things instead of using the D-Link stuff uh, the D-Link hub because I think that that's just terrible really um, but it, I think it involves coding and stuff and I'm not sure but totally off the beaten track again there it would just be nice if there was a wider variety of stuff that's already known to work easy you just connect it and job done 
Um, but never mind. This is two Samsung Smart Things multi sensors. Um, they do temperature, acceleration, um, and obviously the open and close. Um, please hit subscribe, thumbs up, and join me on the next video. Thanks for watching.